Okay, so um, this is a video lesson on Illustrator showing you how to take an image file, like a JPEG or a PNG, and um, bring it into your Illustrator and convert it with the image trace tool and then use your Pathfinder to um, bring together the image with a circle um, so that you can um, laser cut this out and wear it on a necklace. Okay, so this is um, kind of the final product that we're that I worked with. Um, here's another image that is I found. I just I did a lot of searches of like creative, weird tree drawings, things like that, and just found ones that I thought were kind of original. Um, so here's one that I used and then the other one here is all done um, so I'm going to set that to the side for now and just set this over here for now so it's out of the way whoops okay all right so I'm going to show you how this works um, so I'm going to go I already saved my pictures I did screenshots of the pictures of some weird trees and so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Place. That's how you bring artwork in. And then, uh, let's see, where did I put it? I think it's in, oh, I'll go to Recents. Maybe it's there. Okay, yes. Screenshot. There's that one. Uh, there's a weird one with the hand. That one is, like, already done. Okay, there we go. There's my bird tree. Okay, when you bring something in, you'll see this one-to-one. Uh, -one and um, What you have to do is you click and drag like this. And you're going to make this about the size that you want it to be. This is a 24 inch by 24 inch art space. Um, so I'm going to make it about that big, I think. And if I look over here, that's five inches high and about four inches wide and that seems like a pretty good size. You can always change it of course um, by dragging it. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, before we do anything else I want to make sure your your art uh, your space is set up. So make sure over here you're on Essentials. Um, let's see, actually what is Essentials Classic? Eh, I'll just go to Essentials. Okay, and then there's a few things that I want you to set up. One, if you don't, if you only have a single row here or column, I want you to go over to Window, Toolbars, and go to Advanced. Because there's some tools there that can be very useful in Advanced. Okay. I also want you to go to Window and click on Image Trace. And that will bring up this and this is probably what it will look like when you first bring it up and then go to window and go to Pathfinder okay so we got these two boxes Pathfinder image trace we've got our two columns here of tools and one last thing is I want you to put a grid on so that we can see where there are white spaces and where it's see-through. So I'm going to go to Window. Uh, nope, for that we're going to go to View. And down here we have Show Grid. Okay, so you can see these images. They're both um, JPEGs, I think, right now. Both of them have white space. Um, and that's important when you're laser cutting to know that. Okay. So this is an image, and I'm going to zoom in on it so that we're looking just at that. Get this one a little bit more out of the way while we're working. So this image I'm going to zoom in on, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do this thing called Image Trace, which will turn it into a vector uh, piece of work. And right now it is um, a JPEG. You can see how pixelated it gets. So it's based on pixels and vector is based on math. 
So it's a very different kind of thing. It has very sharp edges and everything. And our laser cutter really needs vector if it's going to cut anything. So we're going to go to trace right here. Remember I have that selected. Click trace. Now that doesn't look very good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take image trace and we're going to take this threshold slider and we're just going to keep sliding that until it gets nice. Everything's connected. I want everything to be connected. Um, I still want it to look kind of like a tree. Okay, so maybe a little more. If you go too far, it might start looking a little weird. Okay, you might like that look. It's fine if you like something like that. Um, I'm going to keep it a little more like a tree. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe just a little back off just a little bit more. Bring in a little more white space in there. Okay, I like that. Okay, so the other thing I want to do is I want to click on this advanced arrow here. I'm going to go down here to options and I'm going to click on ignore white. So what that's going to do is, um, well you may have um, it's going to take away all the white space and uh, which is important we don't want that in there so I'll just make it more complicated if we leave white space in there okay so this looks pretty good to me uh, maybe back that off a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more okay that's pretty nice uh, although right there I'm seeing some very thin lines. I don't want that to break off. That's the, there. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go with that. Alright, so we can bring the image trace back over here. And now we need to expand this. So I'm going to click expand. And now this is a vectorized image. Okay. Um, if I wanted to, I can go to the white arrow you'll see all the um, anchors and you can start whoops gotta click right on it and you can start modifying it if you want to um, I don't really want to get into that <laughs> I'm not going to be a perfectionist so I'm going to hit command Z and I'm going to zoom out a bit now one thing that um, we don't want are these extra pieces here because they're just going to cut out and fall out and they might cause problems. So I'm going to go to these and we have an eraser tool. Yay. So I'm going to click on the eraser tool. Um, that's a good size. If it's not the right size for you, just double click on it and you can change the size here. And uh, I'll just try that for now. That's at 22 points. Click OK. That's how big it is. And I'm just going to get rid of this, these extra pieces here. Okay. Everything else looks pretty good. All right. So I've done my cleanup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle around this so that we can have um, the pendant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my shape tool. If you don't have ellipse, choose the ellipse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right in the middle. It's about in the middle of this image. Okay, that looks about the middle. And I want you to press Shift and um, Option. Hold those both down. And now I want you to start dragging. Okay. And I want you to drag till. I don't know, until you get about here, you know, to the outer edges of your image. Okay. Now, uh, that's not good. We have a black filled in circle. We don't want that. So go over to your fill. It's either over here, or you can go over here. You have your fill and your stroke. Um, I like to go over here because we can just do a quick little arrow swap here if I click on this. And now my fill is nothing and my stroke is black. So I kind of like that. And that's what you need. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to change the size of your stroke. 
Um, you can also do it over here if you want. I'll do it over here this time. Okay, and I'm going to give it, let's go to 20 points. Yeah, maybe a little more. Let's go to, ooh, 40 is going to be way too much, I think. Yeah, I think so. You can also just type this in. So I'm going to do, let's try 30. And return. That looks about right. I think that's pretty good. Okay. So, remember you're still on the ellipse tool, so click on your black arrow. And now you can move that around. I want to make sure that it, um, that the feet are touching um, the the running into this black circle, okay? And um, it looks pretty good. You might want to make it so that there's more um, of it touching. Like you might want that touching, but then I lose my beak and I don't like that. So I'm going to go here. You can also use your arrow keys on your keyboard. And that can be really helpful. Let's see, I'm going to go like that. I think that's pretty good. And you can obviously modify this. Uh, let's say I want to bring this out more. Whoops. Ah. Command Z. Let's say I want to bring it out more like that and do more of an oval like this. So I can see the tail a little better. Totally up to you what you want to do. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go back to more of the circle. I think that looked better for this one. Okay. Um, Okay, I might just bring this over just a little bit like that. Let's get a little bit more of that tail. Okay, so um, now what I want to do is I want to take this, um, this path here. You have to click in the middle to get it. And it's actually just a really thick line right now. So we're going to turn it into an object by going to Object. And we're going to go to Path. And we're going to go to Outline Stroke. Click. And now it's an object. It's not just a line. Okay. And so when I click on my bird tree, you'll notice it runs through that. And that's where the laser cutter would cut. It would actually cut this out of the circle if we left it that way. So we don't want that. So. First things first, I'm going to click on this, just the circle. I'm going to lock it for a second. So object, lock, selection. Okay. And I'm doing that because I want to erase this part of the tail that's sticking out. And I don't want to erase this, um, oop, fireworks. I don't want to erase the circle. So that will make it so I can do that. So I'm going to click on my eraser tool again. And I'm just going to erase this. Oh, no, I'm erasing the circle. Oh, nope, I'm not because it's locked. Yay. There's a little bit coming up there, so I'm going to erase that too. Okay. All right, that's good. So I'm going to go back here. Um, and basically all I need to do now is... Make sure I'm on my black arrow. Click. Oh, okay, I forgot. I always forget this. I have to unlock it now. Object, unlock all. Okay, so I unlocked everything. And I'm choosing this whole thing, both these objects. And now, here's where the Pathfinder comes in. You just click Unite. And now there are no blue lines running into each other. So this is all ready to cut. Last step is um, to put on the uh, hole for it. And you can go back to your ellipse tool. Um, and I'm probably going to be do something, I don't know, something like that maybe. Uh, remember, go back to your black arrow. Move it to where you want it. You're going to go over here and you're going to switch the fill with the stroke so that it looks like that okay and now remember we want to make it so it's thick so we're going to go over to the stroke and let's try 14 uh, maybe even higher I don't know let's try 18 okay 
All right. You have to kind of play around with this. Um, let's see, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm using my arrows. Try to get where it's kind of in the right spot. I want that to be a little thicker. So I'm gonna go back to my stroke again. Let's try 20. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'll give you more ideas on what size that really needs to be uh, later on, but I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Okay, so you'll notice now that it's still cutting into the other piece, and it's also really just a line that's really thick. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take this, I have to go to Object, and Path, Outline, Stroke. That makes it actually a shape now okay and now it's running into each other so again I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna to go to unite ta-da you are done okay that's it you now have something that can be laser cut it'll look just like this the wood will be all the black there and the white will be what's cut out Okay, um, make sure you save it. I like to save it um, myself to the cloud. Come on, what happened here? Oh, I already saved this, that's why. Okay, I'll do a save as so I can show you how to save it to the cloud. Um, save Adobe Cloud document, and I can save it to the cloud. Uh, I already called it tree pendant, so I'll just do the same thing. And then, since you need to turn it in as a PDF, you're also going to go to File, and you're going to go to Save As. You're going to save on your computer. And down here, you're going to choose Adobe PDF. And make sure you give it a name up here. Okay, so, and then I'm going to click this. Save and... Just click Save PDF, ignore all that stuff, and submit it for your homework. All right, that's it, folks.